Hasu League from BSL Season 12. This is Blue Storm Game 1, Group C Game 1 between Nilsi, who I do not know a lot about except that he is from Norway. Bottom left hand corner as the Great Protoss. He's going up against Master Ray, who's a familiar face. Actually, Group C has a lot of familiar faces on the opposite side of the bracket. We have Dreamer, who of course was the runner up in Hasu League, Master Ray, reigning champion. That's going to... Nilsi has his work cut out for him either way. And then we have Dreamer also in this group. So it's an all-Protoss group, a lot of PvP. Honestly, because of the map pool, I think it's going to end up going a little bit faster than usual. This map here, Blue Storm, which, if I recall, you really need to open up 2-gate on this map. It's very difficult to fend off. I'll kind of do their map reveal once again. You really need to open up 2-gate because this is a huge wide-open natural, big wide-open gap here, and then you got kind of this area in between. So it almost becomes like Protoss... Uh, I don't know. That was my feeling back in the days, is that it really was uh, kind of a zealot micro that determined a lot of the early game. Maybe I'm wrong in that, and we'll see different flavors of things, but it just felt like zealots were so strong early. My memory could be flagging and failing me. I am doing this as a still recovering a little bit sick cast, which is my, my voice sounds as it does. We do see a gateway opener here from Nilsi. No, uh, nothing too crazy. Both players opening that on 10 gate. Master Ray sending out a probe scout just to check the back corner, just in case there were proxies, which I think is very, very wise on this sort of map. Almost indicates to me that he might be opting to open, uh, maybe, with gas. Okay, it looks like, yeah, both players, where they... No? Okay, so Nilsi is opening up gas first. And actually, take it back, Master Ray is doing that as well. So maybe, so maybe ignore me. Maybe take it back. Maybe uh, these guys are good players. Maybe Dragoons are good on this map. I don't know, though. I still feel like at least a Zealot out on the front door is just magnificent. Again, because there's just nowhere, it's just so wide open. You just get no blockade. So getting a Zealot in your opponent's base, it's just they can wander around forever. Pylon behind the line here for Master Ray to prevent any sort of run back. Uh, but there is kind of that gap that can be shot uh, from some units being annoying. It looks like we do see, see that Cybernetics Core warping in. Zealot first before Cybernetics Core for Master Ray. And honestly, I'm wondering if that might be the difference here in this match overall. Zealot well, actually, he's about even now. So Zealot's going to come out just a fraction of a second earlier. That's going to slow down the Cybernetics core uh, for Master Ray. In fact, he I don't see the Psy core out yet uh, anywhere. Now he's getting that Cybernetics core down. Trying to chase that probe down a little bit. He is going to follow this up. Uh, of course, with, you know, standard Dragoon whatever play. First Zealot is now out for Nilsi. He's using that to scout the back corners just because there is so much area to just hide proxy tech. I guess maybe that's the other indication, because there's, I don't know, this is kind of back-end thinking. Maybe because there's just no place to hide, right? There's just so few areas to sneak units back into. Maybe that's why the, because the Zealots, I mean, it's open ground, right? So the Dragoons can chase them forever. So maybe that's the, the thinking comparatively. Dragoon being produced, a second Zealot being produced for Master Ray. <clears throat> Still chasing down uh, that unit. Looks like that Dragoon. So at the very least, what's going to be an advantage for Nilsi? Actually, Nilsi dropping a Citadel of a Dune immediately, and Master Ray sees it. Is he going to cancel that? Was that a fake? Yeah, okay. Trying to be cutesy here. So dropping the Citadel, showing Master Ray the Citadel, canceling it, and then going to Dragoon range. The question is, is does Master Ray fall for it? He's gone robotics. So he's going robo first. Nilsi has plopped down two more gates to follow this up. Oh, wow. So very, very clever. So acting a bit panicked. As though, oh no, I'm I, my tech was caught. I was going uh, DT first, and instead he's going up with extreme pressure, killing his own probe for some reason. Maybe because he's supply capped right now. Looks like he, yeah, he has hit a, a bit of a supply gap. That'll sneak one more dragoon out. Unfortunately, okay, so here's the thing: because of that supply gap, Nilsi might have given Master Ray a little bit of a window. Master Ray needs to get additional scouting, otherwise he's going up 3-gate production versus 1-gate production, and that is going to be a serious disadvantage, unless he goes Reaver first. Looks like he has plopped down a second gateway just now, but here's the thing, yeah, unless if he goes Observatory first, this could be disastrous. I'm almost wondering how much time that supply cap that Nilsi ran into, how much time that afforded Master Ray, though, to, to have some degree of recovery. Cybernetics Core spinning about halfway, and we do see that Observatory first. The second gateway is just going to come online, and if you look at kind of the unit counts, at least at this stage of things, it's three Dragoons versus two Dragoons and two Zealots, which is about an even fair fight, but at this additional gateway of production is going to start kicking in right about now, and range is going to finish as Nilsi is making his way across the map. 
We do see a probe going to sneak through. So Master Ray is going to get eyes on this, I think, before the Dragoons are in his base. One advantage is with Dragoon production, they do have to go the long way around, around that gap. Looks like a Zealot is in the way to prevent that probe scout from sneaking across. But as Master Ray moves up, he's going to see a lot of these Dragoons. He's going to know he's up against multiple gateways. And let's see what his reaction is. He does have that robotic support bay building. He does have that observer uh, up front. Now the question is, is did that supply cap on Nilsi's side provide Master Ray enough time to be able to compensate and get a Reaver out. Because if that Reaver, so Robotic Support Bay right there, the Dragoons making their way to the right. Reinforcements are also going to have to make their way across. Is it just going to be Zealot? No, it looks like going to be Dragoon reinforcements. So that's going to be a slow reinforcement walk. That's five Dragoons, two Zealots on the front door. They're going to be going up against six Dragoons. That is a winnable fight from, for Nilsi. But he needs to get a move on. Because a second Robotic Support Bay, I feel like this is a mistake from Master Ray. He just kind of lost track of something. Left Dragoon being focus fired. Additional Dragoon on that top edge being focus fired. And I think Master Ray lost track of his tech, perhaps in a moment of panic. Or maybe a moment of lag, I'm not sure. But as a result, he doesn't realize he already has a robotic support bay up. Pulling probes off the line. The robotics facility still quiet, no Reaver yet. And additional Dragoons are coming up. So it looks like Nilsi is going to, in fact, okay, now the first Reaver being produced. But probes already being disrupted, already off the line. They're getting killed in mass and more dragoons are moving up and i think this is an overwhelming dragoon force honestly to deal with what master ray has i think this is going to be gg momentarily two more dragoons being built the reaver still about halfway there and yeah master ray his economy completely battered down to 12 probes all the probes except for four offline he's calling gg right there so i think uh kind of an odd match altogether as far as the opener game one goes to nilsi off kind of a clever tech drop and then cancel and switch but really i think this is the big indicator of how flustered master ray was in the midst of this, double uh, robotic support bay. Still had a, I don't know, maybe had a window to fight that off. But uh, otherwise, game one goes to Nilsi. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game two of this grouping to see who advances from this branch of the bracket to the winner's match.